very, very excited to be able to be here today to share uh, with you um, information about our fantastic new product, the Portable Modular Data Center, and how that could potentially fit into your organizations to support uh, next generation services like cloud computing or um, other applications you might find for this unique technology. So the Portable Modular Data Center, uh, or PMDC for short, is a containerized solution. Essentially, it is uh, putting uh, what's normally built inside fixed buildings into a standard ISO uh, dimension shipping container. So outside, it is a completely normal looking shipping container, but inside it is completely customized to suit unique IT applications and IT requirements. It is uh, not a one size fits all, it's rather a custom built solution to suit your specific needs, whether it might be uh, high performance computing, whether it might be uh, some remote locations, uh, might be a temporary facility for a uh, exploration project for instance, uh, might even be um, some mobile emergency services applications, it could even be a, uh, a mobile operation center, not so much for people but for uh, workstations or, or uh, a command center type deployment. These are very flexible applications that we can fit inside a standard shipping container. Some of the key benefits of this type of architecture, obviously it's very uh, quick to deploy. Uh, total cost of ownership, TCO perspective, it can be substantially less than a fixed building approach. And we share with you some of the ways we can do that. Um, and it is a complete solution. It is a solution that involves both the IT aspects of data centers as well as the facility aspects. So we're talking about not just the service and storage and network, but also the generators, the chillers, the, the UPSs, and the actual physical structure as well. It's not a new concept. It's been around for quite a number of years. Um, specifically, containerized data center solutions have uh, been around for at least six, seven years. Um, initially, uh, they're quite a novel concept, you know, putting uh, IT inside shipping containers. Um, but over the last couple of years, certainly in Australia in the last 18 months, we've seen uh, quite a, a consistent, um, I guess, regular take up of these solutions actually deployed in the marketplace. Uh, we know certainly in the last nine months there's been um, about half a dozen deployments, both on the east coast and the west coast of Australia itself. You know, the obvious ones are mobile, mobile applications, uh, remote data centers out in mine sites, uh, maybe a DR facility, um, cloud computing, where uh, you can have a large amount of processing power deployed very close to high speed networks. Um, you know, a lot of applications out there and other ones which we may not even think of today. It's a very flexible, very um, easily transportable and easily adaptable solution. So what does our solution look like? Um, essentially it comes in two main uh, configurations. There is the all-in-one configuration where both IT and facilities both sit physically within the same container and there is the multi-container type configuration where you have one box holding the IT equipment and another box holding the facilities equipment. So the UPS's batteries, chiller plants, and, and that kind of thing. Um, or you can have multiples uh, IT servers, or IT containers uh, all combined together, and multiple uh, facility containers combined together in multiple different configurations. Depending on the application, you might have a high density environment, which requires you know, maybe just one IT container, but several facility containers to provide the power and cooling. You might have the opposite, where you only have a low density environment, only one IT, so one services container, ha housing um, a small quantity of power and cooling, but lots of IT containers to provide a lot of physical space. Um, you might have uh, an IT container, a service container, and also um, an operation center, all combined together, using shipping containers as the, as the physical structure around it. The benefits of using a containerized solution, uh, particularly in the market we are here in uh, today in Perth, in, in Western Australia for the mining sector, resources, oil and gas, um, one of the key benefits 
uh, that we see and, and, and from feedback and talking to customers is the simplicity that it can drive in deploying infrastructure, increasing amounts of infrastructure, especially for the modern or future mine uh, sites. Um, is the amount of people this can actually, uh, I guess the resources it can, it can reduce in, in deploying increasingly complex and increasingly amounts of IT. So rather than go out to site, often in remote locations, and transport a lot of highly skilled people, or just a lot of people in general, to build these physical environments, we can pre, I guess, preload them and pre-prepare them off-site in centralized metro or CBD locations, and then ship them off to, the, to remote, remote sites already pre-provisioned. We minimize the amount of work to be done on-site. There's only three ingredients we need. Water, raw mains power, not, not even conditioned power, and uh, a network connection, some fiber connections to bring these facilities online, bring it into your network. It is a truly vendor neutral environment. After all, that is what you would expect from a, from a, 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 a uh, normal data center environment if it was inside a fixed building, right? It needs to be able to support not just rack mount equipment, but also non rack mount equipment. It needs to be able to support modern gear as well as older legacy gear. After all, this is a facility that is designed to be equivalent, at least operationally, to a fixed traditional building structure data center. So whether you're installing IT hardware, telecoms hardware, maybe radio equipment, um, even workstations for a operation center, this thing can accommodate it. Even the power and cooling equipment can be customized to suit whatever applications that you need for that, for that site. It is a fully insulated container as well. It doesn't need to be installed uh, inside a warehouse or, or, or in a protected area. It can be deployed out in the open. Uh, it's fully environmentally sealed. Um, and in such a way that you can continue to maintain and manage and service your IT environment inside a live operating data center facility. Exactly the way you would expect a normal data center to be able to operate. So from a cooling perspective, you're not cooling vast amounts of area. Uh, we hear a lot about uh, containment solutions for larger data center facilities inside buildings as a means to, to save cooling costs, to, to reduce cooling energy. Well, a container in itself is a, is, is, is a containment zone. And, and that by design means it's a lot more energy efficient than a normal large data center. We also have some some unique patented technology that allows you to run the container using free cooling in relatively mild or warm climates. You don't, you don't need 10, 12, 15 degrees type cold environments to run free cooling. There are technologies that we can design into our container solutions to allow you to run free cooling um, up into the low to mid 20 degrees. It is a global solution. You can deploy it you can build it and, and deploy here and, and deploy anywhere in country or anywhere in the world, in fact. Because it uses a ISO standard shipping container on the outside, no protruding parts or you know, fan coils or, or um, power attachments uh, outside, we try to keep it as, uh, as clean as possible to the ISO standard form factor. So you can actually use the intermodal systems already in place, uh, which the container form factor is so useful for. It is built using a wide variety of best of breed uh, global facility infrastructure vendors. I guess the first step in this journey to discover whether this suits your environment or not is to uh, understand the requirements and go through a bit of a design process. Because it is a customized solution using standardized components um, to construct the most suitable environment for your IT today and for tomorrow as well.